The Crow is number 41. The Crow should be in the 20s. It should be much higher than 41. I think it should be in the top 25. The Crow is fantastic. This is not your typical superhero. This is not Superman or Batman. People don't remember, there was a lot of horrible comic book movies, terrible comic book movies. They didn't put the money, the resources, the talent. The Crow was one of the ones that actually stood out. Boom. Even though graphic novels and comics and everything have been long serious, but as a general public, we weren't presented that. You grew up on watching the campy Batman stuff. And then you got The Crow. What the fuck? The Crow is about this rock star-like goth dude, Eric Draven, and he dies. He and his wife are killed, and he comes back from the dead, and with that has these powers. This is like a pet cemetery, Eric Draven, and he fights bad guys. I guess it's not a good day to be a bad guy. It's the ultimate kind of what if revenge story. It's like bigger than being a vigilante and just taking out scumbags around just your city. It's personal. I just want him. One of my favorite things about The Crow is that it's a true character piece. Yeah. It's all about Eric Draven as a person. It's all about him fighting for what he lost, justifying everything that happens. Brandon Lee did such a great job of creating this character that was vulnerable, that was real. What are you supposed to be, a clown or something? Sometimes. Brandon Lee gave such an amazing performance, it only makes it more painful that he died while making this film in such a horrible mistake. He had been in some other action movies that, you know, did okay, but The Crow is the first time where you actually got to see act, real acting chops from him. I heard a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. And I think if he had, you know, gone on, I think he would have uh, become a much bigger star. The Crow wouldn't have been Brandon Lee's breakout role. It was Brandon Lee's breakout role. Unfortunately, he wasn't around to enjoy the spoils of it. He's still alive forever in The Crow. You didn't say goodbye. You're just gonna have to forgive me for that. I really think The Crow was ahead of its time in what it was presenting. And uh, if The Crow had never come out in 94 and was out now, it would fit, it, it would make sense. The Crow would be a lot more accepted now as a movie than it was back then. That's why this idea of trying to reboot it or remake it makes perfect sense. I think the only thing I dislike about the Crow movie is the fact that now we're talking about another Crow movie and this Crow movie is so, so good, it firmly makes me believe that we should not get another Crow. The movie is so raw, it's so honest, and it's so brutal at times. And I think that's why they keep trying to make sequels and trying to redo it. They're trying to recapture that magic, and it's the reason why they can't. I think there's a reason why it keeps falling through, because it, it works as it is. This movie is damn near perfect. Thanks. I'm a little surprised The Crow is as low as 41. I would think there'd be still a lot of favor for that movie and what that movie is able to do for a lot of other comic book movies that have followed it. I knew you were gonna do that. Brandon Lee's Crow was obviously a giant precursor to Heath Ledger's The Joker. Mr. Gideon. Who? I'm not paying attention. It lets you lay the groundwork for Blade, all these, and Guardians, all these like lesser known characters owe a huge debt to The Crow. Christopher Nolan was highly impacted by The Crow. There's exact scenes from The Dark Knight that are from The Crow. Gentlemen! There's so many other comic book movies that took a page from what The Crow was able to do. It doesn't get recognized as the influential piece of art that it is.